Hey guys, here we are. I am so excited to introduce to you Mustafa. Mustafa is not a stranger in these lands. I have to tell you, he has some exciting news for you, but without any further ado, I'm going to hand the microphone over to him and he's going to get all of the questions answered. Hi guys, my name is Mustafa El Hadi. Um, I'm originally from the Sudan. Okay, I was born in America, but uh, my second language is Arabic. I'm trying to learn Spanish, but uh, it's finding it kind of difficult. But I'm here on vacation, a little vacation, and um, I'm really enjoying myself. I did bring bad weather with me because uh, it's been raining every day, which I really don't appreciate. But, you know, I'm making the best of it. Um, I'm also here to do some dental work. so. I found a good dentist here, and um, I'm very happy with her. And um, she, yeah, yes, you know, she does good work. She's very patient, and um, you know, her work is is remarkable. I will shout her out in yeah, the description. Out, but, but first, how did you find her? Oh, I found I found her uh, from my friend Cerise. She's the one that uh, told me about her. That she had work done also there. So, you know, um, I decided to go to her, and I was very happy with it. And I really appreciate her for that. Mm -hmm. Yes, so... Um, and shout out Harold Nichols, too. Oh, Harold Nichols also. I want to give a shout out to Harold Nichols. He's the root of the information. Okay, he's the root of the information. I really want to shout him out also. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, um, I'm going to be only here for seven days. Um, I'm going to be traveling back to the U.S. Um, on Monday. I have a trucking business in the United States, and um, you know it's going pretty good right now. So, oh, it's called Ames Logistics. Ames Logistics trucking, right? yeah. So, um, yeah. Shout out to the truckers right now in Canada and all around the world. They're doing some great things. Oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. And during the pandemic, we were running pretty good. We were the only only uh, profession that really didn't stop. You know, we kept running because we have to bring those goods to the supermarkets, places like that, you know. I actually bring uh, containers from the port, from the port of uh, New Jersey, in America, New Jersey, the port of New Jersey. Um, and there's, you know, these, these containers are coming from all over the world. So I primarily pick them up in New Jersey, and I do a lot of delivering in Pennsylvania. Yes, so, you know, it's a job, it's good. Uh, I enjoy it, but... Um, I think I want to retire soon. <laughs> how old are you? How old am I? I'm, I am 53 years old. Oh, you No, no, no. But, you know, it's time to, you know, that rat race in America is just too much. I want to be like Cerise. I want to come here and just uh, <laughs> relax. <laughs> she seems, she's day. so happy. Man, she's a hustler, though. <laughs> she's always moving, man. Hard to catch up with her, you know. But, you know, she's helped me out a lot. You know, I appreciate her. Oh, she's man. a very good person, you know. I finally meet her in person. I've seen her. She's, I feel like I'm sitting with a celebrity. That's why I'm nervous. I mean, I, I follow her videos. She's helped me a lot on my trucking because I take long drives and I listen to her story time. And her soothing voice, it relaxes me on the road. You know? So, and I look forward to it. She hasn't been putting them out like I really wanted to because she was doing it before. She used to put them out like every week. In the pandemic. Right. right. But so, um, yeah, I, I find it interesting. Yeah, they're very interesting, you know. Yeah. Yes. So, um, yeah. Are you, tell us about you. Okay. Like, you um, back, I, um, I just recently came from Egypt in October. I flew to Egypt because I bought an apartment in Egypt. Wow. In Cairo. And actually, it's um, not far from the pyramids. So I'm thinking about making it an Airbnb. So if people are interested in maybe coming to visit Egypt and like to have a place to stay, I can also provide you with uh, a tour guide to take you around by the pyramids and, you know, see different things over in Egypt. So it's probably better to come around April or September when it's not very hot, you know, because it gets very hot there. So, you know, that's something I'm thinking about putting together. I'm also thinking about buying, I was thinking about buying property here in um, Dominican Republic, uh, preferably in the uh, tourist area, but I've heard that prices are going up now, so I don't know if I'm really interested in doing that now or maybe going somewhere else and doing that. 
because I would like to have property to help me in my retirement, you know, to bring in some income, you know. So those are some of the things I'm planning on doing in the future. Um, I'm planning a, a trip to Thailand in May. Right. Yes, I'd like to go to Thailand. I want to see uh, Tanzania. Um, Egypt, I've been there many times. I've traveled throughout the, uh, the, the world a lot. I've been to a lot of countries. Um, let me see if I can name a few of them. I've been to Saudi Arabia. I've been to Turkey. I've been to Ethiopia. I've been to Greece. I've been to, uh, what else have I been? Oh, Germany, Italy, France, uh, Qatar. And that's in the uh, Gulf area. Um, and I've been to, in the Gulf. Arab Amer Emirates. It's near Dubai. Yes, near Dubai, yes. So I've traveled extensively. Um, I didn't travel a lot in the United States, but since I'm a trucker, I've traveled all over the United States. I've seen every state in the United States except North Dakota. That's the only place I haven't seen. So that was a good experience for me. I don't like it now because I like to go local and I can come home every night. But I did have that experience of traveling throughout the United States. But uh, it wasn't for me. So I decided to do local. I could come home every night. Right. Yeah. yeah. How many languages do you speak? I only speak two. I speak Arabic and I speak English. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Oh, that was very good. Your pronunciation is very good. Thank you. Inshallah. Inshallah. Day, right. I go to Egypt. Inshallah. 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 I'd like to see you there. Yeah. Ahlan wa sahlan. See. <laughs> She said, "See, sí, that's Spanish, right?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have that Spanish. Poquito, poco. No habla grande. I was once married to a Puerto Rican. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I know a little bit, you know. Yeah, yeah a little bit. I know words. And then you know where I live, there's a lot of uh, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, and you know where I live at in this area. So you know, I learned through that. And then in America, that's the second language in America. Because you right. see most of the signs in America are English and Spanish. Yeah. Really? Kind of really? like Toronto is English and French. No, no, not Toronto. Montreal is English and French. English and French? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you speak French? No. Oh, My name okay. is French. Oh, okay. No, I don't speak French. You don't speak French. Okay. Because I, I, I actually ran into a gentleman. I had breakfast at the, the, the restaurant Margaret. Margot! Margot, yeah. Shelter. Yeah. Say that, Margot. Oh, Margot. Yeah, I'm going to shout out. It's a very good restaurant. Food is delicious there. I met a guy there. He was from Canada. And uh, I even asked him, did he know you? He said, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Um, I see there's a lot of Canadians here. Even in the hotel I'm at, there's a lot of Canadians living there. Yeah, so right. this, is, uh, this place has a lot of different people here. So I like it here in Dominican Republic. People are very nice, very friendly. Um, it kind of reminds me of Egypt a little bit, <laughs> you know? Really? When I see the donkeys riding around and things like that. Yes. And the cows and the, yeah, 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 yeah. So I feel at home here. It's, no, it's not like something foreign to me. The only thing is the language. I need to conquer the language. But I see Cerise conquer the language. I've seen her from the beginning. I see her progress very good now. Thank you. Yeah, I practice makes perfect, you know? Yeah. Well, not really, because in this area, there's a lot of, yeah, not really, I don't really need, Spanish. I don't really need Spanish because, uh, while I'm here, because in this area, there's a lot of uh, Americans and Canadians here that speak English. And I have my Google Translate, which helps out a lot, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's something that helps out really a lot, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, um, like I said, I'm really enjoying myself here. And, um, How many by, times have you been here? Uh, actually, I've been here two times. You did? Just two times, yes. Wow. Yeah, yeah. When was your first time here? First time here was in July. Just July? And how long were you here for? Just three days. Wow. Yeah, so I don't really know too much about the place, you know. I, yeah, yeah. Wow. But... When I see you, how happy you are here, it makes me want to come here. <laughs> you just say, I'm happy here. You say, like, oh, I, I, I came here. You've been here four years, right? Yeah, almost four almost years. Almost four years. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, I even watched some of your old videos when you were in Canada. 
Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I was like, wow. wow. That's an attractive yeah. woman. Like That's attractive. I'm going to there again. I'm on a diet. Oh, yeah. Are yeah. you on a diet now? Yes, I'm on a okay. diet. Okay. Well, on a healthy lifestyle. <clears throat> I'll tell you what you should do. Fasting is very good. Like, in my religion, I'm a Muslim, and um, we fast for 30 days every year. But I continue to fast. During Ramadan. During Ramadan, yes. Yeah. I continue to fast because it's very healthy. And it will make you lose weight. If you, I do an intermittent fast. I usually fast for 16 hours, and I eat 8 hours. Okay? And I do the, uh, also a keto diet. I lost, wow. I started out as 250 pounds. And in about 2 or 3 months, I came down to like 209. Oh, thank you. I thought you were a bodybuilder. No, no, no. Well, you know, I do calisthenics and uh, I do a little weightlifting. Okay. But I do it in my apartment. Okay. I don't go to a gym. Okay. But um, that diet, though, it's a good diet because you don't, you don't lose muscle. Okay, so when you're fasting for the 16 hours, yes. you tell them, say, during the 16 hours, I eat this. And then during the 8 hours, okay, I eat this. Yes, during the 16 hours, okay. I usually uh, do 16 and 8. So during the 16 hours, I don't eat any. I drink coffee, but without sugar. It's just black. It's black coffee. That's the first thing I have in the morning. Uh, after that, well, I also have my, uh, my green uh, vibrance. That's a green juice I drink. And I drink a black seed oil, which comes from the Middle East. Very healthy. They say that black seed oil? Cures anything but death. <laughs> wow. And you can buy that in America, right? You can buy that in America, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, you can buy it in America. So okay. then I drink my black coffee, and I don't drink anything else until like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay? I don't eat anything until 1 o'clock in the afternoon. That's when I break my fats. Okay? After 1 o'clock, I can eat all the way up until 5 or 6 o'clock. What time do you stop eating? I stop eating? I stop eating at about 6 o'clock in the evening. And then you don't eat anything until 1 o'clock? 1 o'clock in the afternoon. That's not bad. Right. I drink fluids, right. but I don't eat anything. Okay. All right? So what happens, you train the body because it's looking for food. It can't find any food, so it starts eating the fat. So it starts eating the fat. That's just, you, you train it that way. It goes into ketosis, it's called it, like that. And it just starts eating on the fat. So you start losing a significant amount of weight. You know, it just starts dropping off. I went and I bought new clothes because I lost a lot of weight. So I have to maintain this because I don't want to, you know, have my clothes where I can't fit them anymore, you know? Look at him. He looks like a Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. You're welcome. <laughs> So, you know, but it takes discipline, though. It's hard in the beginning, but it, it takes discipline. You just got to say, someone told me, um, what happened? Uh, you lost a lot of weight. Did something happen? I said, yeah, I got out of the shower and looked in the mirror one day. <laughs> I said, I have to lose weight. <laughs> so oh, that's, that's what happened. <laughs> but uh, I stick to it. And usually when I say I'm going to do something, I stick to it. You know, I don't usually uh, say something just to hear my mouth move, you know. Usually when I say something, that's something I really want to do. I set my mind to it and I do it. Just like my trucking business is something I want to do. I got tired of the rat race in America working for someone. But this is actually my third business. I started out, I had an ambulance business. I had four ambulances, three medical vans, and two minivans. I would take people from doctor's appointments, dialysis, things of that nature. And some people, they couldn't walk, so I had the ambulances. And I had the wheelchair vans, and I did that for about two or three years. But what happened, I was forced out of business because the state stopped one of my drivers, and the ambulance wasn't stocked the way it's supposed to be. So what happened, they put my ambulances out of service, and uh, they went to the office, and they found some paperwork that wasn't right. So I was out of service for a couple of months. I wasn't making any money. And then they fined me $100,000, so I was forced out of business. Um, then I had my license for trucking, so I decided to use that. So I worked for a company for about maybe a year or so. 
So I went and bought my own truck, and I uh, started working for myself. Then I went and bought another truck, and I have another driver working for me. So, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, so I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, happy with that right now. You know, I don't know if I want to grow the business even further, uh, further than now, but um, I'm actually looking to rent my truck out and try to retire. And uh, maybe... Okay, well, you can reach me um, by, I have, okay, I have an email, which is uh, Mustafa, the number four, real, R-E-A-L, at gmail.com. How do you spell Mustafa? My, you spell Mustafa like M-U-S-T-A-F-A, and it's the number four, real, R-E-A-L, at gmail.com. Um, I have a phone number, is 484-707-5953. Okay. Now, Well, I know you said that you wanted to, you know, stop doing, because you're only 54. Yes. How, what will you do? Well, I like, my, my uh, passion and what I love is traveling. I like to see some of the world, you know. Like I said, I'm planning a trip to Thailand in May. You've never been there? Never been there. Um, I also want to go see some of Africa, like Tanzania. Um, I've been to Ethiopia, and I've been to Sudan, and I've been to uh, Egypt and Morocco. I have a brother that lives in Morocco. Wow. Yeah, Morocco is beautiful also. Yeah. yeah, that's another country I've been to, yeah. yeah. And I've traveled extensively through Morocco. Oh. Yeah, so um, that's a very nice country also. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I just love traveling. You know, I, well, my base would probably be Egypt because I bought an apartment there. So that would probably be my base. Why? Why Egypt? Why did you buy an apartment? I bought an apartment in Egypt because, well, I'm a Muslim, so... Is 90% Muslim there, and I feel comfortable there, I guess, because, you know, I've, and I've also been there a lot. I have a daughter there, uh, but she's 22 years old. She just got married. Congratulations. Okay, thank you, yeah. That's why I was there in um, October to attend the wedding. Wow. Yeah. Did you send me pictures of that? I don't know. I, no, I sent you pictures of before the marriage. Okay. I talked to you about she was going to get married. And I actually sent a picture to you of her wearing the wedding dress. Okay. Right. Okay. So she actually went through it. For so. Some I'm yeah, 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 yeah. So um, yeah, I went there. I really enjoyed myself. Um, I wasn't usually. I go to Egypt for a month every year. Uh, but this particular time, I only went for two weeks. So I had to get back to the business, you know. But um, I plan on going again, maybe uh, sometime during the summer. Yeah. So. Oh, and then my daughter's pregnant now, so I have to go back and uh, <laughs> I'm going to be a grandpa. For the first time. First time, yeah. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Makes me, I feel old now. Um, three months. Daughter said that if it's a boy, she's going to name him Mustafa, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, she will. We'll see. Will. We'll see, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, she, I just spoke to her yesterday. She says, uh, she's in Egypt. I spoke to her yesterday. And she's going through a lot with that pregnancy. Uh, so oh. I that's normal, you know, morning sickness and everything, you know. Yes. But is she your only child? She's my only child. Oh. Yeah, my only she's child. She's in Egypt. She's in Egypt, yes. Whoa. So oh. she, was, she was born and raised in Egypt. I just come back and forth, you know. Me and her, me and her mom were married and we divorced at the age of six years old. She was six years old. Wow. Right. So. Wow. Yeah, so I just continued going back and forth every year. Uh -huh. Stayed there for a month all the time. And I brought her to the United States a couple of times. So. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, she don't like the United States. I was going to ask. No, she don't like it. She like She's got the Egyptian blood in her, so she don't, she don't gel here good. What's the difference between Egypt and America? Well, in Egypt, it's, it's really a cultural difference. I mean, everything is different. Even uh, there's certain places like where like men and women don't really bond together in certain areas right, but but a lot of the places are not like that anymore but um just things are different just the way you um communicate um i think they have that here also do they have it here where um the shops shut down and everybody go and uh relax like yeah like, like siesta siesta yeah. yeah yeah well the first time I've come here, it was just for relaxation. 
I was over in uh, Cabarete and had lunch, dinner over there and just laid on the beach for a while, you know, working on my tan. You know. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was just a short trip. It was just a couple of days, you know, just relaxation, getting out of the hustle and bustle of America, you know. America, there's no life in America, just work. You make money there, but you don't get to enjoy it, you know. You got to come to a place like Dominican Republic to enjoy it, you know. In Egypt, exactly, yeah. You can Only thing I worry about in Egypt, what am I going to eat today? What? What am I going to eat today? Why but, are, you, are you worried about that? Because I just think about it, like, do I want... Uh, do I want the chicken and rice? Do I want the uh, falafel? It's very tasty. Especially with uh, the Lebanese, the Syrians, and the uh, Palestinians. Their food is very good. Yeah. I, I, I go to a lot of Arabic restaurants in the States. One thing I can say also about you, you have a lot of courage for a woman to travel. I tried to get my sister to do that, to move to Egypt. Because um, I told her that it would be better for her there, you know? But she don't want, as a woman alone, she don't want to do it. She's, she's had, uh, yeah. she don't have the courage to do it. A lot of, a lot of men don't. Right. Like, if he does, you know, I, I don't know. I just did it I, with the grace of God. Yeah, I you're, like, yeah, you, you fit right in, too. <laughs> you fit right in. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but I do that anywhere I go. Yeah, well, you're I'm very social. Sagittarius? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're very sociable, so, yeah. yeah. I just call myself that, right. that horse that just runs into things. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm here. <laughs> hey, how are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? i tell you another thing that you have more courage than me. To ride on those motors, I can't do it. You've never been on a motorcycle? Never been on it. They, I, they have many what offers here. Today? Taxi. Oh. I take taxi all the time. You said all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I have offers, but I, I don't have the courage to get on them. The way I see that, the way they drive, I, I can't do it. Really? Yeah. Maybe the, one day. You know, the first time I came, I rented a car. Now that's courage. And the way the people drive, well, I was like, whoa. I wouldn't do that again. <laughs> you said that you're toxic. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, in departing, my last words I'd like to say is uh, I think everybody should take, come to the Dominican Republic just for a visit, and you might want to retire here. I mean, it's very laid back. People are very nice. Uh, you have nice people here like Cerise that can help you find an apartment, help you with anything. Um, yeah, she's very helpful. Yeah, having a person like here, uh, like her here is very helpful, you know, because she can speak English. Now she can speak Spanish, so, you know. <laughs> So she would help you in any way, you know, and I appreciate her and she's a very good person. I was happy to meet her in person though, Aww. but I feel like I'm meeting a celebrity because, uh, you know, I want to get her autograph. <laughs> yeah, 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 she does. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, but I see you from the beginning. I see you improve. I've been watching you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, it took a little while. right, right. So, yeah, um. I'm going to go back to the United States and get on that rat race again, but I will be back. God willing, I will be back. Inshallah. I will be back. And, uh, inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah, I will be back. And um, hopefully, maybe Cerise can help me find some property if I want to buy some property here. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, because she, um, she's pretty good with that. So, being that you know a lot of people, you know, you're the person that can help me. Thank you. Right. <laughs> and uh, thank you all very much. It was good talking to you. And um, hopefully we'll talk to you again. So signing out. Uh, thank you. And Mustafa, can you please give your name and also your number so people can get your Airbnb? Okay. Yes, uh, my name is Mustafa Al Hadi. Um, I am going to have an Airbnb soon in Cairo, Egypt, and it's about 20 minutes from the pyramids. So if anyone is interested in coming to Cairo and to explore Cairo. I can maybe get you a tour guide to help you around, get around, and make sure that uh, they give you a decent price. So you can contact me at Mustafa for Real. That's M U S T A F A, the number four, real, R E A L, at gmail.com. Phone number is 484 
707-5953. That's USA. On okay. WhatsApp. On WhatsApp. Or Telegram. Yeah. Telegram. WhatsApp. Perfect. WhatsApp is better. Just find me on WhatsApp. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, let the love shine. Oh, let the love shine. Let the love shine.